Welcome. Welcome to my latest video blog. Today we are going to be talking about narcissism. I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching. Why do narcissists act superior and entitled? Well, the narcissist, in order to maintain this false or pseudo self-esteem, they have to somehow refocus their innate feelings of brokenness, their innate feelings of unworthiness. The narcissist who acts like they're superior than others or entitled, or for that matter, grandiose, that they, they think they're bigger and better than they really are. Um, it's really an overcompensation of, of how badly they feel, but they can't acknowledge. So what they do is at, every, at any opportunity, they want to show the world, they want to prove how good they are and why they deserve special recognition, why they are, they are entitled to get better uh, treatment than others. Really, the inverse is true. They feel much less worthy of others and they feel more shamefully, um, more shameful um, about it. But they can't and they won't ever think about it because it's too painful, so what they do is they assume that they're better and they want people to treat them as such. It's just the compensation for that part of them that is repressed, that is connected to how uh, deeply impaired they are psychologically. Is narcissistic personality disorder or the other pathological, pathological narcissistic disorders curable? Sadly, not often. And the reason for this is you need to know what's wrong with you in order to get help. And think about it, it's that simple. If you can't see what's wrong with you, if you can't um, reflect on your faults or those parts of your personality that need help or work, it's almost impossible to make progress in psychotherapy. So how do you cure someone? There are bona fide, clinically proven, research validated therapy techniques that work very well with narcissistic personality disorder and borderline personality disorder. Not so much with um, ASPD, but the glitch in this is the person has to commit to the therapy process and has to work the program or the um, has, has to work the process. Narcissists that do start in these programs sometimes will drop out because someone in the program, say their therapist, challenged them and, and they experienced a narcissistic injury and that was the end of that therapy. A lot of therapists know this when giving marital therapy with a, uh, someone with a narcissistic personality disorder because so, uh, when you hold um, a narcissist accountable in, in, in that thera therapeutic environment, often the narcissist is um, insulted. They are horrified that you would even um, allude to or insist that maybe it's part of their problem. And because of this personality disorder, they not only deny it, but they push back and they say, it is your problem, you're a bad therapist, and that's the last time you saw them. So yes, narcissistic personality disorder can be treated, and yes, there are positive outcomes, but the statistics are very low, sadly. Does our culture celebrate narcissism? Absolutely. Our culture is about achievement. It's the American way. It's a land of milk and honey that if you're just smart enough and motivated enough, you can achieve whatever you put your heart and mind to. 
it's a part of the American dream is to be successful and to compete against others and to, and to win because that's capitalism. So in a sense, a part of America or the, the culture of the United States has some narcissistic uh, qualities. Our culture also celebrates narcissistic personality disorder. I mean, think of it. Think of all the famous sports stars. Um, Alex Rodriguez, Pete Rose. Um, think of the politics, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, whether you're Mitt Romney or, or Barack Obama. The reality is that narcissism and perhaps narcissistic personality disorder is pervasive in Hollywood, um, in professional sports, in politics. And why? Think about it. These careers reward narcissism. These careers are based upon someone's ability to get you to love them, to want to see more of them, to want to motivate you to see their pictures, to hear their voice, to get their signature, to, to TiVo hours upon hours of their performances. Yes, our culture rewards narcissists and those with pathological narcissism, mostly NPD. The problem is that a lot of these professional NPDs or narcissists is that they often fail because their insight or judgment is impaired. When they, um, when they get into their entitled and grandiose mode, they cannot see the world as it really is. They can only see the world as it impacts them. And often that puts them in a place of making mistakes that are harmful to their career. And these narcissists will fall from grace. We see this in politics. We see this in sports. But I don't think it's ever going to change because I think our, um, our, our society and perhaps a lot of other Western societies really adore these narcissists because they are so beautiful and talented and they just cannot get enough of them. So in closing, I hope this video helps you understand more about narcissistic personality disorder and the other forms of pathological narcissism.